Hello Warriors, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shion Bishesun. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. So today I'm going to talk about five powerful strategies you need to know. So if you're unlocking your purpose, you need these five powerful strategies. Number one is self-reflection and journaling. Taking time for self-reflection is one of the most powerful steps to understanding your purpose. Set aside time each day or week to journal about your passions, values, and experiences. Journaling helps reveal patterns and can be a great way to tune into what truly matters to you. You can look at something like what brings me joy, like have a piece of paper, write it out. What brings me joy or what are my strengths? Your strengths are your natural abilities. They come to you naturally. You need no practice or little practice whatsoever to get going with your strength. It's like if you have the gift of good voice. So singing wouldn't be too much of an asshole to you because you just get up and sing. Over time, you will begin to notice things that point toward your purpose. So if you're journeying, if you're unlocking your purpose, you need to have the strategy of self-reflection and journaling. Number two is identify core values and beliefs. Knowing what you stand for can help you find a direction that aligns with your personal integrity. Integrity is all about you are the same on the inside as well as on the outside. So write down your top five values and consider how you can leave them out in your daily life. Write out your values. What are your values? Is it honesty? Is it loyalty? Is it family? These values are your own personal rules. Write them out and consider how you can live them out in your daily life. Steps to think about would be like when you look at role models or moments where you felt your most authentic self. What are the things that you do that you feel like you're authentic at that particular time? Those are your values. Which values were present at that particular time when you feel like, oh my God, I feel... I'll say plenty in a way. You feel fulfilled. You feel whole. You feel like you have the whole world at your fingertip. What is that values that was present at that particular time? Aim to incorporate these values into your daily decisions. Number three, explore your passions and talents. Purpose often lies at the intersection of your passions and natural talent. Your passion is something that you do often all the time that is aligning with your purpose. If not, you will be passionate towards something that is not even aligning with your purpose. So you have to be careful with that. List activities or topics that excite you. Next, make a list of skills you're naturally good at. Cross-reference this to see where they overlap, as this can be a strong indicator of your purpose. What is that you? What are the things that when you when they ask you to do, you you lose track of time? You say, oh my God, I've been sitting here for two hours. Unlike when you're doing something you don't like and you keep looking at your watch all the time, that means it doesn't really excite you in a way. So when you have this, just look at them. This might be indicator to your purpose. And this step will be like when you experiment with different hobbies, you do different activities, things that you do for fun, you know, volunteer opportunities. What are the, you know, organizations that kind of attract you? What are the things that they do there that make you to think, oh, I want to volunteer there or classes whatsoever. Engaging in a variety of activities can help refill the areas where your passions and talent meet. Number four, create a vision for the future. 
Imagine your ideal life and walk backward to see what you need to achieve it. You know, this vision can provide you with a roadmap toward your purpose. An action step would be like, write a letter to your future self, describing where you are, what you are doing, how you feel. This vision can serve as a guiding star as you make decisions moving forward. Let's say you are looking at yourself in the next 10 years. Write a letter to you in 10 years' time. You're looking at the future, the future, you know, creating what you want the future to look like. This might give you the idea of what your purpose actually is. And number five, which is my final point, is seek mentorship and feedback. A mentor can offer valuable insights and encourage you along your journey. Sometimes others can see things in us that we may not notice ourselves. Seek feedback from those you trust and who know you well. An action step will be identify someone whose life or work inspires you and reach out to learn from them. Join groups or communities aligned with your interests for support and guidance. And talking about mentorship, you need more than one mentor. Don't be, it is only with Jesus you can put all your eggs in one basket. When it comes to human being, look at a person. Oh, this person is good with business. They can be your business mentor. This person is good with marriage. They can be your marriage mentor. Don't think one mentor is enough for you. It's never enough. One knowledge from one person, you need more than that. So be very careful when you're picking out your mentor. If you are looking for a spiritual mentor, don't look for somebody whose spiritual life you don't want to be like, you don't want to be that spiritually. So him higher for somebody who is ahead of you, who can mentor you right. And also with groups and community, you cannot go wrong with that because with communities, there are different people that you can reach out to. So the five powerful strategies you need to know in order to unlock your purpose. Number one, self-reflection and journaling. Number two, identify core values and beliefs. Number three, explore your passions and talents. Number four, create a vision for the future. And number five, seek mentorship and feedback. Until I come to your screen again, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, Warriors.